starts with breaking news. That breaking news comes from Lincoln. Lawmakers just rejected an election proposal to make Nebraska a winner-take-all state. Good evening. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Bill Shammer. Nebraska is one of only two states that divides some of its delegates by district. Republicans hope to change that for the November election, and it's putting the state in the national spotlight. One of two efforts just failed, though. KETV News Watch 7 Sean McKinnon joins us with this breaking news. It's important to note tonight's vote was not on the bill itself, rather an amendment added to another bill which doesn't have anything to do with the election process. And that amendment overwhelmingly failed about an hour ago. So I, I'm a winner take guy, all guy in every endeavor of my life and uh, the same on this issue. Governor Jim Pillen says it's time for Nebraska to speak with one unified voice by making the popular vote be the one that counts for all five delegates. Former President Trump applauds that effort, but Democrats pushed back. Obviously, once this electoral vote, because he's so scared he can't win the presidency without it, he's so scared that the same thing will happen that happened in the last presidential election, he'll lose. With no vote scheduled on the bill itself, Senator Julie Slama added it as an amendment to a military government and veteran affairs bill. She called out her fellow registered Republicans saying they should vote for winner take all. It would appear that once again Republicans can talk a big talk but can't walk the walk when it comes to actually getting things done. Senator Michaela Kavanaugh had hoped to postpone the proposal indefinitely. You're not trustworthy. I went into the lounge to talk to a couple of you and you told me you were voting a different way than you told Senator Wayne. In the end, senators overwhelmingly voted against the amendment, 36 to 8. Now, with the winner-take-all bill itself still in committee, time is running out. We're going to find out where you stand. You cannot hide behind this being just a procedural vote. You will be called out for what it is. The state is watching. The country is watching. Again, the winner-take-all bill is still in committee. There's no vote scheduled on it with just six days left in the session. Bill, back to you.